least we have dry weather this morning. Temperatures are well below freezing across much of the state. 21 at the airport, 21 downtown Bel Air at 18 degrees. Thermont, you're down to 10, and we can even see 20s down across the lower eastern shore. Factor in the wind, which is about 10 miles per hour, gusting to 20, and it feels even colder. We can see single digits uh, for the wind chills across the Baltimore metro, and the wind chill drops off below zero out towards Oakland. Now the winds ease up the rest of today, but it's still rather cold. Even by the afternoon, highs reach the upper 20s to the low 30s. We'll have clouds this morning and more sunshine later today. Around the metro, maybe a struggle to even hit 30 in Reisterstown and Mount Airy. Catonsville, 32 degrees. Rosedale, 33. And Rock Hall, a high of 32 this afternoon. We're just seeing a few clouds right now on the satellite. Not enough to produce any precipitation in Baltimore. That bigger storm system moving out of New England, so our winds will ease up for today. But there's a couple of areas of low pressure to watch. First, there's one coming into the Dakotas, then some colder air with a second storm that comes through on a Thursday. Now, the one on Wednesday doesn't seem to be a big issue for us. But if you plan to travel north through Pennsylvania and upstate New York on Wednesday, you'll see a batch of snow come through. Then we look for Thursday as low pressure still comes through the region, this time with a cold front, and that's going to produce a brief period of snow around Baltimore. This front seems to be losing a lot of moisture as it comes our way, so we're not expecting a whole lot. And thankfully, it's not meeting up with all that moisture just off the coast. That could uh, cause it to be a bigger storm system. So we'll watch what happens up to New England once again. This pattern just is not in their favor right now. 7 day forecast with our temperatures briefly warming up tomorrow, 44 degrees, then back down to that colder air end of the week. Thursday, watching for some snow showers. Friday looks sunny. Then we have another batch of some wintry weather to watch for into the weekend. Not only could we see some light snow Saturday night, but then a wintry mix is possible on Sunday.